right. Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody slept well. Good morning. <laughs> as well as we can on cots and um, blow up air mattresses, but uh, somewhat rested at least. So this is our briefing for 7 a.m. for the shift change, and um, not a lot has changed. Um, this is the current weather. Again, thunderstorms and lots of rain. Temperatures in the upper 70s to low 80s. 100% chance of precipitation. And um, be on the watch for the high winds that are coming. So uh, this is our current forecast uh, track of the storm. And we are actually seeing the bands in here right now. So uh, we're probably going to be seeing some action today. Uh, this is our storm surge anticipated. Uh, this is from the um, interactive map, the, the one that is up to date and uses the NOAA as Alice taught us yesterday. Uh, our incident command is Mark Stevens, Chief Boyd, and Chief Summers. Uh, our objectives are basically the same as what we had yesterday. But we also have to um, determine a time, if necessary, to retreat all of our operational field staff to safety, um, depending on the conditions. So d again, don't forget that we're going to be providing protection to our citizens. We're going to conduct any search and rescue operations to support our infrastructure and work with the county for assistance. Um, our command staff is going to be Colleen Roberts and Dave Daniels. Safety officer again is Mike Beckman, and Sonia Hayes is here as well from HR. And we have our liaison officer of Danny Hill over at the county. Our general staff uh, is going to be uh, Jim McConnell and Captain Lucas. Uh, planning is myself and Marquis e. Morrison Brown. Logistics is Lori Kalan, and finance is J.R. Sabatelli. And our operations section chiefs here at the big table is Jim McConnell and Terry Gaskins uh, for the fire department, Captain Lucas and Captain Fuller for the police department, Alice Wilson for GIS, Jordan Hughes for water and electric utilities, David Cox for public works, uh, Foster Hughes for parks and rec, and then again HR and safety is Mike Beckman and Sonia Hayes. <coughs> uh, before we move any further, does anybody at the center table want to add anything or give us any updates on anything uh, yeah real quick okay um lieutenant debate just forwarded us that um short note the water's beginning to come over the bulkhead at east front street slash new street low-lying in areas in sandy point are beginning to see standing water bpn glen bernie at news has fuel this time and the sea glass cafe will be up at seven as a food option Thank you. Anybody else? Also, uh, yeah. <coughs> Alice has put together a map that kind of builds upon what the manager has said yesterday. She's delineated a 10 foot level and then a 14 foot level. We need to go there and take a look at these maps and kind of look at different areas because somewhere between 10 foot and 14 foot inundation is going to be horrific. And there's a lot of areas that's going to be out of the He's city. So we need to go ahead and start identifying those areas so we can start putting a plan of action together if we have to start doing calls. Is it showing them on there, Alex? Oh, it has been really slow the last couple of days. I don't know if it's just because everybody is getting on it or what? Right. Oh, is, it, is that overlap with that span that's in there in the keyboards? Yeah, so those, okay. those are the span yeah. buildings. Which ones are they? Yeah. The red ones? Are well, okay. they, this is a list. There it goes. Okay. So we added the, the contour lines that haven't come up yet. Yeah. There's red would be the 10 foot and the yellow is a 14 foot. So load, I was going to put it in there to kind of see. And the latest is 9 to 13 feet, so it's going to be somewhere in that area. So. Anyway, hopefully. Yeah. The, the lines will fill in in just a little bit uh, on that map. And Alice, is this a public map or? No. This is for our internal use, yeah. okay. 
Uh, anybody else have anything they want to add? I know, Mike, you updated your safety message, so I didn't know if there was something you wanted to Yeah, I mean, as, as the winds start to increase, uh, you know, um, most manufacturers recommend not putting a boom up over 28 miles an hour uh, of wind speed. Um, and that's kind of, you know, OSHA generally always falls back to the uh, manufacturer's guidelines on things like that. And obviously, you know, fall protection is essential with those. And we, we don't usually have any problems with guys wearing fall protection in the bucket trucks, but, uh, you know, no shortcuts. PFDs, if you got PFDs, make sure you got them. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, Coast Guard rules don't apply. You know, <laughs> you know, you know, just because you're over 16, you know, it doesn't matter. You got to wear the life jacket. Okay. So, uh, Brenda is again uh, going to be starting our uh, situations documentation. And um, she's going to want the description, the departments that are assigned, and any <laughs> status, and the, what, as soon as it's completed, to let her know. I, uh, last night, we created some little sheets. Um, that you can use. Do you have one that can pull up? We passed them out to all the tables, uh, to all the seats. So you can handwrite it and pass it to her because at some point she is going to get overloaded. So um, if you could just fill this out so that she can go through them as she gets to them. So because um, at some point it's going to be, she's going to have like 20 of these that she's going to have to fill in and she can't type them. <laughs> I don't think anybody can. So um, this will help her so that she can catch up kind of when need be. So, um, and then if something change, if any status changes, if it's completed or whatever, let her know as well. Um, same thing, you can maybe grab, if, if she hadn't gotten to your sheet yet, you might be able to grab it and, you know, mark it complete instead of active to, to help her out. Did you want to add anything, Brenda? No, I think that Lucas will fill one out for what you just announced. So she can capture it. And when Brenda is off, Vanessa Ellison is actually her backup. So she will be um, doing that as well. So I think Brenda's helping her this morning kind of get acclimated with all of that. So, yep. So uh, Lori Klon, again. Um, when you make any requests to her, use the 213RR. I sent it to everybody yesterday. Make sure that you provide the delivery location, any point of contact, and a detailed description if you can of what you're requesting. I also have a definition. I know yesterday when we were talking about resources, it was kind of confusing to some people of what is a state resource versus what goes through our traditional um, route of purchasing. And uh, Chief provided me, Chief Boyd provided me with this definition, anything above and beyond our cur current capabilities. For example, additional rescue teams, uh, mutual aid police officers, equipment that we don't normally keep on hand, that sort of thing. And maybe even any additional water uh, above and beyond what we have on hand at the time. And then our local resources are gonna go through like regular purchasing so if, if we do have water and we need to grab some, that would go for our, our regular purchasing uh, route. Um, and again, if you can submit those 213 RRs electronically, JR would really appreciate that. Liability version? Legibility. Legibility, because Legibility, some of us don't have the best handwriting. Um, the uh, safety. Uh, reminders that Mike has provided us in addition to the boom truck he was talking about a minute ago we do need to watch out for floodwaters and chemicals that may um, mix in the floodwaters as well um, any overhead exposures broken gas lines um, again the cautious use of the bucket trucks if the winds get too high they should not be used um, be aware of any citizens that may need if they may be in need of medical attention as city employees they're just going to try to find us more so than any regular citizen so be on the lookout for them um, try to help them the best you can make sure that you're using your proper PPE as well as your PF e PFD. D. D. PFD. Personal flotation device. yeah 
I call them life jackets. Life so. jackets. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and once again, now is not the time for OJP. Um, also, for us in the room, um, we do at the city have Skype capabilities. I know that the fire department has used it, Public Works has had training, um, and I'm trying to think, uh, Parks and Rec had some training before Foster got here. Um, but uh, if you would configure your Skype on your um, laptop, that will help so that we're not going, hey Brenda, what do you need on that sheet or whatever, all the way across the room, because that is going to increase the level of the noise in here. And like Mark was saying yesterday, let's be courteous. So if we could use Skype, um, that may help with some of the noise in the room. Um, again, make sure that all areas have a 211 sign-in form and that when you're here, you sign in and out over uh, the clipboard is being kept over by Brenda and Vanessa. So just remember to sign in and out. Same thing when you go to sleep, sign out to go rest. And then when you come back, sign back in. Um, and everybody should have their 214s on hand. I think I've talked to a number of people in the room and everybody seems to have their 214s. So just make sure you've got it handy and that you're keeping track of everything. Does the sheet need to indicate rest? Not that sheet. The 214, um, if you just mark that that was your rest period, yes. Um, again, for this evening's uh, briefing, I'm going to need a 201, 202 that's updated. Um, the 203s and 204s, if any changes are made. Um, also remember that as we move forward through today and into tomorrow and the next day, your 204s are going to change. Your objectives are going to change from pre-storm to during storm to post-storm. So you just... It, it, there are going to be changes, so make sure you get those to me before the um, briefing this evening, so that I can have I can get the IAP updated and out to be signed this evening. Uh, 205. Uh, again, I don't think there's any changes um, to that. And then the 208, uh, Mike. If any safety changes are, need to be made, let us know. <coughs> And our next briefing will be this evening at 1845. And for anybody who doesn't do military time, that's 645 p.m. And we will be doing it right here. So thank you, everybody.